Yo, what's going on, guys? We are finally here. A year later, we have come back with these offers for July 4th sales. Now, as you can see, getting straight into it, I already bought the C tier offer. The C offer for the first one. And that included a lot of stuff. But I wanted to wait on this second offer. So I wanted to... Actually, the, the first offer that you just saw me buy was the second offer. So... This might, this might be a little confusing, but for the completely first offer, I don't have it recorded, unfortunately, here. But just simply, it was the offer that included, um, it was the, um, it was the third offer that included Catalyst and such, the C offer. So, um, just a moral a summary, I didn't get any crystal out of that, so it doesn't really matter for this opening. But this offer that you just saw me buy in the beginning, that included a ton of rank up resources and materials that I'd, I'd rather get than the other offers. Because the other offers basically offer RNG, but I'd rather take the guaranteed awakening gem and six stones and rank up gems. Because I think that is worth it way more. So now, the opening. It was pretty crazy opening if you weren't there for the live stream, it's alright. I'll stream here and then so you guys have multiple chances to turn up. But... It was a very brief live stream. It was about an hour 30. And this is part of the live stream. Now I do not have the footage for my voice recording because I wanna make it I wanna make it more high quality. So I'll just reenact kind of my reaction. So um I'm opening I was just opening all the lesser stuff in the beginning. And what I bought, just to summarize, I bought an Odin, a Black Panther's treasure. Tony Stark, brief, uh, Tony Stark's briefcase and two Star Lord's loot bags. So in total, I spent like 200 bucks, man. I think because Odin 100, um, Panthers Treasure 50, Starks 30, and then two Star Lords. Yeah, it's 200 bucks, man. So um, I could, I still have enough. I could still get more, but that's where I'm gonna stop because. That's where that's 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 where I want to stop, man. I do not want the next offer. The next offer is sixty-seven thousand, or no, it's sixty-seven hundred fifty units, and it it basically it's like the last offer in the first go around. Then you have to come back around and do the whole thing again, and then you can get a seven-star weapon X if you buy all the offers. Like if you, if you do the if you go through all the offers twice. But um, I'm just not going to. I don't have. I don't want to spend more money. And right here, I have three seven-star basics to open. But I realize I have seven valiant crystals on the stream. So I'm like, all right, let's start with these first. And I want to take my sweet time because it was a stream. I'm not trying to go fast. And also, I could pull a nexus out of here, seven-star nexus. So that's why I took my time. It's a lot to go over, man, but basically, I think I spent, units-wise, I spent, um, damn, I spent a lot. I spent, I would say, like, 11,000 units, man. So, that was enough to get me through the first three uh, tiers of offers, which is, which is, that, that's all I need at this point, because I don't want to, like, actually lose, like, a ton of money in my, like, bank account and stuff, because, um, I'm already... A bit drained from this event but so i want to keep some money man um i think the heart of this game is really like spring of sorrow and story content and also battlegrounds battlegrounds i think that is the heart of this game that is what brings out the fun not just spending money on july 4th offers and stuff so that's why i am deciding to save instead of spend 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 also Man, I almost get a 7-star Nexus so many times here. It, it keeps rolling over. It just keeps rolling over. But, um, this is not the highlight of the opening, though. Because I have a Titan Crystal we're gonna open. That I did, I already, I mean, obviously it's already recorded. But, a Titan Crystal, three 7-star Basics, and an Arcade Games Nexus 7-star Crystal. As well as, actually... A seven star basic nexus crystal so um i think that was the third offer which i end up buying later because i as you see i hold on to my units i just want to see what i get out of here first so maybe i can make a better decision with the unit offers but overall it's just still the same decision at the end 
right here, I'm just trying to... I really want a 6-star featured crystal because I'm trying to get Destroyer still and I don't think I'm going to get him as a 7-star. But also, if I were to get him as a 7-star, I'd rather, rather have him Awakened in that high sig. Um, or just Awakened. And I have all the necessary uh, resources if I get him as a 6-star, so that's why I end up doing this at this point in the opening. But unfortunately, I get a Sentinel. Um, not really Destroyer, you know, obviously. Uh, one day I'll get him though guys one day we'll get him and I might even make a video on him man I don't know. He is a really cool champion But I do not have him yet. So next I kind of spoiled it. I had, I had to get a destroyer, but Next is the seven star basics out of here so many champions I want however I'm not gonna be able to pull every single one of them even if I pull one it'd be great. So Vox Awakening Domino Warlock, Venom, Photon Awakening, Hyperion Awakening, um, I mean, where are the, there's so many, uh, I think I wanted, oh yeah, Gladiator, there's, there, there are just, there are a lot of options in this crystal, over, because there have been many champions transferred over into this crystal, I already said Photon and stuff, I mean, there's just so many champions, but there's also a lot of Obviously, there's a lot more duds that I'd rather not get. So this first one I spin out a little long. I let it spin out. The next one's I uh, tap quicker, just to let you guys know. And I end up getting an Elsa Bloodstone. That's the first time awakening for her. I was kind of like, uh, okay. I mean, that's that's all right, but I wasn't looking for an Elsa Bloodstone, unfortunately. However, it's a first time awakening, so at least it's not SIGs. It gets me more Titan shards, which really can it was actually contributes later on in the video. Almost got a photon and almost Emma Frost, which I would have rather taken. But then this Sauron. But hey, another first time awakening with Sauron. Whatever, I guess. You know, I was just kinda like, this is this is not going too well. But you gotta I mean Obviously, it's, it's an RNG based crystal. That's why I chose the offers Mainly with the most guaranteed value, but the third offer I'm gonna choose in a minute here is the RNG based offer This was just from cash offers almost get a warlock and it just goes to dragon man. I would love a warlock absolutely love Fortunate unfortunately it goes to a dragon man, which is another first time awakening so all three of these were first time awakenings um, that's like 18, it's like 1,800, uh, Titan shards, I believe so. And that transitions me into my Titan crystal. So guys, this Titan crystal, I have 25,000 shards at the time, but then it only goes to, it goes to back down to 5,000. Out of here, so many champions I want. I mean, I, it's kind of mixed. I don't know. It's kind of like the seven star basic, but except they're just new champions. So. I would love a Prowler. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna. I would love, like, in brutal honesty. Although it is kind of unfortunate if you pull, if I were to pull like a, um, uh, like a Negasonic Teenage Warhead because, like, for example, like she's already rank um five ascended as a six star for me. But champions like that that already have ranked up as six stars, if I get them as a seven star, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that mad. It's, it's great to have them as a 7 star 2, however, I already invested a lot of resources, so I don't want a Teenage Warhead, obviously. I Luke Cage would be pretty interesting, I wouldn't mind. Bullseye, again, one of those, I mean, I would take, but uh, I, already, I literally just like ascended him and stuff. So, uh, Serpent would be amazing, that is like my top pull in here, I think. Probably two or second or first top pull, um, second or first, yeah. But I end up going over him and getting an onslaught. So, hey, what do I think about this? At the moment, I was like, oh, damn. I'm like, actually, this is really good. So, this is a pretty lucky instance where, I mean, I ranked him up as a six star, but he is only rank four, not even ascended. So, that's great. And here we go. I choose the C offer again, and as the last unit offer, I will be buying 
I mean, I could get the seven star Titan Nexus crystal, which is insane, but I I don't have money. I don't have any more money. I don't want to um, spend any more money. I literally do not have that money. I will be drained to the absolute zero if I get this offer. And that's that's only like halfway through um, getting a seven star weapon X, which I really I really need a weapon X, man. I guess we gotta wait for the banquet event, guys. We'll see you guys then for when I get a, a weapon hex. But for now, I'll have to deal with that one. I'll have to deal with it with that one. And this offer, the unit offer, got me this seven star basic nexus, as I already said, and the arcade game seven star nexus crystal. So this basic one gives me Dragon Man, Bishop, and Overseer. So I quickly, I'm like, okay. I'm like, actually, like it takes me a second to process because I won't, I, I I want to give a genuine reaction so i was like overseer is actually he's good he's pretty good however um obviously no i don't want more six on dragon man and bishop will give me titan shards obviously which is great also his awakened ability is pretty good and i have him as um i think only rank one but i prefer bishop overall more overseer is just kind of like he's an underrated champion but he, he's not no bishop bishop just i think he deserves it more personally i that's what i wanted more now this arcade games crystal man this was very interesting um there's like so many random champions in here from the titan crystal and others so there's hulkbuster there's prowler there's black cats so that's incursions crystals that's loyalty crystals that's titan crystals there's vox there's basic champions like gore terax silver surfer Noel, Hyperion. I mean, I would just, I, I, I have to go over it once the polls come up because it's a nexus. There's so much to go over, but here we go. And I was like, whoa, I'm like, wait, I forgot Hulkbuster was in this crystal. I'm like, that is really good. And I like a Terrax Awakening. Obviously again, no, I don't want Sigs on Iron Man Infinity War. Terrax Awakening ability is pretty good for defense. I would like it high sig though, and Hulkbuster, I'm not going to be able to access him anywhere else, so, I mean, except for the Incursions Crystal at the moment, so, that is a really good pull, and transitioning over already, I take my Onslaught to rank 3, because I didn't realize, guys, I have a rank 2 to 3 immune, um, rank up gen for 7 stars, so, he is now currently third highest PI in my roster. Once I get him awakened, he will be the like profile of my account. But just summarizing, it's, it was a great opening, man. Hulkbuster is amazing, even though his PI, his prestige and stuff is super low. Like it's insanely low. He can still be used in many places in the game. So... I will be using him here and there. Not insane, but I really like, I think he's really underrated. He's a great champion. He's really fun too. Then I got the Bishop, which was great. I like the Awakening on Bishop. And the main pull was this Onslaught. Man, this seven star Onslaught straight to rank three. I've been saving this two to three gem for him, even though I didn't know when I would pull him or if I wanted to use on someone else. It was just always meant to be. Look at him. So beautiful on my profile and everything. Insane. I applied the relic and I mean he's still he's still third, but insane. Absolutely insane. And we go through a little rank up segment here and stuff. So just stick with me and bear with me here. I have a lot of ascensions I was able to do. I think two ascensions, and I was able to rank up a lot of six-star champions, so. Obviously, like, you know, I could rank up Werewolf, Wolfie, I, I mean, Wolfie, yeah. Um, he was also another pull I really wish I got. Unfortunately, I did not get him, so I'm not going to mess with him because he's, like, rank 3 and I have other priorities, um, such as this Kushala, which she needed an Ascension a while ago. Um, she just, she needed it, man. She really needed it. So I'm really excited for this Ascension. Just going to leave her there for now. Because I want to invest in other champions, such as this next one, which I had to think about. But I decided to 
I believe I decided to rank up this champion. I'm not going to say it yet, but actually before I rank, I, I take someone to rank five, but before that, I take a look at Mr. Sinister and I, th I think about if I wanted to send him, but no, I go straight to Kingpin and uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm kind of forgetting what I did, but yeah, I looked at Sinister, but I went straight to Kingpin. I'm like, yep, rank five. He needs to be rank five. He just has to be. He just has to be. So this was a little bit overdue. Um, like I needed to do this a while ago as well, but this is a great rank up. I do not believe I ascend him. However, this is a great rank five. I mean, him and Kushala are people I needed to take up. Like I still, obviously I still have to rank up thing. I still have to rank up future Ant-Man, but just, just taking who was already ranked up makes it easier. So I'm just going to stick with ranking up champions that, um, are at like rank four right now. And then once I have like no one else to rank up, I'll go to the bottom and bring thing and am in future. I'll bring them, those guys up in the, in the future but for this rank up Kingpin all the way up rank five. Beautiful. He's been so annoying on defense and he's great on offense, but actually I end up sending Absorbing Man. So I do not do anything with Mr. Sinister and Absorbing Man is also a great ascension, man. He's great. He's the same thing as Kingpin. Great on defense, great on offense. And that concludes the rank ups and stuff. So, I mean, there's so, I have so, I saw so many champions I can rank up. Um, I don't have any more I can ascend. There's just so much I can do, but for now that is all for the rank ups. And I decided to give Bishop and Onslaught a little test run because I was mainly excited with them out of the, all of this. <clears throat> so this Realm of Legends run, just real quick, they both did fantastic. This is, I believe this is rank one and they are both, um, I've used synergies for both of these guys in these fights. This Bishop is, yes, like I said, I think, I believe he's rank one. It looks like a rank three two but i believe he's rank one actually that's total cap he is rank two i fully remember now this is a rank two uh newly awakened fish up with synergies and a relic he did pretty great man uh this damage is pretty nice i could have probably went for special two this almost killed him i thought it would have but that's fine i could just hammer into him right here and chip him away there goes the bishop 56 second fight now we test out my rank three sadly unawakened for now onslaught and see how quickly he does if he can beat bishop but yeah that does it that does it for the video man i don't think there's gonna there's not gonna be a round two i don't believe so this is one and done um it was a great opening hopefully you guys have even better openings than i did if you decide to do anything make sure you spend your money wisely like please spend your money wisely also, to cover another base, I am able to get another Titan Crystal. Um, at the current time of recording this, all I have to do is rank up in Battlegrounds. I just have to get past the victory track. And I will have another Titan Crystal. So that will be a short, quick video probably, guys. Just letting you guys know. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like, I don't know, like a five, four or five minute video. Because I don't know who I'm going to get. Um, it could be like someone like Serpent. I'd probably go for a Realm of Legends run. I just checked you soft real quick because, you know, I just wanted to, I just, I just, uh, wanted, I just wanted to do a quick checkup and see if, um, anything had changed. I don't know why I included that here, but hey, like I was saying, like I was saying, um, like if it's like Serpent, if I pull Serpent from the Titan Crystal, I'll just do like maybe like a Realm of Legends run like this. And then he's going to be used on defense and stuff, so I can accumulate clips over time. And then maybe make those into shorts or tiny little videos for you guys. So, I will open another Titan Crystal. Maybe may, maybe post it if it's... Uh, maybe post it as a short, or I could post it as a video. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But that's going to do it, man. Hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. But, I'm about to finish off this fight. This fight was finished, I think... Like 54 seconds so just earlier just a little quicker the bishop onslaught is amazing but yeah that's gonna do it overall great opening 
spend your money wisely guys and i'll see all of y'all soon